All right, it's James, and I'm back with Richard, and I'm back with Jason Peltrowitz, and we're in Davos. It's 2020, and we're hosting Canada Cannabis House. Now, guys, maybe for those just watching, maybe who didn't see our clip last year, what are we looking forward to this year at Canada Cannabis House? I think we're looking forward to the continued momentum of public acceptance of the cannabis space. Yeah. I think, as you know, I've been saying, it's getting a little more, a little more accepted, a little more professional, a little more interest from the powers that be. And I think, as a as a sector, it continues to to grow, be taken seriously, yep. um, and acknowledged. So I'm looking forward to to continuing that momentum. Well said. And you mentioned the powers that be, Richard. Uh, you know, this is happening. <laughs> I'm, during... a power, I'm a power that be. <laughs> well, you're gonna let me finish. I oh, wasn't cool. saying that. But... Okay. <laughs> um, no, basically, this is happening coincidentally around the same time as uh, World Economic Forum. Uh, and maybe just what are your thoughts uh, being here at this time on the on the world stage? Well, certainly, uh, as we did last year, uh, we had uh, uh, an opportunity to meet with uh, all sorts of folks that were really curious mm -hmm. about the uh, cannabis industry. Canna curious. And, uh, yeah. Canna curious folks. <laughs> and uh, certainly whether that was from an investment perspective, public policy, and so on. And uh, I think we're looking forward to uh, more of the same. And uh, as Jason mentioned, uh, with another year under our belts, with a little more credibility, understanding for the industry, uh, I think uh, we have an opportunity to make uh, some really good connections. and. Uh, advance the uh, cause of the industry uh, around the world. So Richard, we're here in Davos, uh, it's 2020, it's January, and why should the world care about what a bunch of Canadians have to say about the cannabis industry? Well, we're obviously the uh, market leaders in a variety of uh, respects, whether it was uh, through legalization of uh, adult uh, use, and uh, obviously the Canadian capital markets uh, played a leading role in funding uh, cannabis companies, not just in Canada, but in the United States and uh, beyond. So uh, we've got, I think, a little more experience than a lot of the nations that uh, will be represented here this week. And uh, I think there's a lot of learning that we can share. Right. And uh, Jason, for your part, uh, being an American, why should uh, the world listen to Americans and, and uh, the, what you guys have learned about the cannabis uh, sector? Well, again, from our space, we're the largest market for publicly traded cannabis companies. Um, obviously, that's not all we do. So, you know, trying to teach companies to be public, to be good corporate citizens is important for any sector. Um, and we take it really serious to be able to help cannabis companies do the same thing. Okay. Um, so I think it's important, you know, just any company in any sector that learns how to be good corporate citizens from a public company perspective. And, and that's what we're here to do is to teach and to educate and to, to get people on board. And to learn. And, and to, to listen. learn, yes. yes. <laughs> All right, well, thanks for watching, and uh, there'll be more great content coming your way on our channel with uh, respect to our trip here to Davos, Switzerland. Thanks for watching.